Hi, my name's Jared Paul. Are you ready for part five? And if you made it this far, you deserve an award because that's amazing. I'm surprised people are still watching this crap. Dreamcatcher with Morgan Freeman? What's he doing in this? I don't know. Why did I just open a short tube? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but whatever happened to Thomas Jane? I mean, he just played in that Deep Blue Sea movie, and now he's gone. I don't know what happened to him. Jason Lee he just played in that album in Chipmunk, so he's still doing stuff. Yeah. I like. I really like this movie. I don't know why. I just really do. And then I got the book once. And I got about six pages in, and I was just like, This sucks. Give me the movie. <laughs> yeah. Right now, it's probably like deep down in like my one of my five year old book bags somewhere. Somewhere like it's probably laying in the basement in a really dark corner. Probably. This film was really good, too. The Diary... No, this doesn't recognize much. The Diary of Ellen Rimboyer. It's a sequel to Rose Red. And if you've seen Rose Red, you may... want to see this one, I guess. It's, it's pretty good. I, I, I recommend it. I think we were just talking about this, Deep Lucy. Now, this is cool, because whenever I look at that, it looks like it's popping out at you. Yes, I mean, it does it every time to me. LL Cool J, isn't it? Um, Samuel L. Jackson. I'm sorry, did I break your concentration? That wasn't very good, was it? No. If I said that, like, I... Nothing. Okay. Yeah, but... I watched this, like, when did I see it? I don't remember. But... I remember I used to watch it's like a son of a gun, and I always used to rewind it to the explosion parts, and just, like... Like, literally, just continuously watch them over and over, the action parts. I was weird. Lake Placid with Betty White, Bridget Fonda. Bridget Fonda did the voice in Balto. Bill Pullman from Independence Day and Brendan Gleeson from 28 Days Later. And Oliver Platt, too. Yeah, this one's. It, this actually has some humor with it, too. So. Yeah, if you can find it in the $5 bin like I did, definitely pick it up. That's worth it for that. This one you probably have never heard of, but I highly recommend it. It's really good TV movie. It's, it's called Larpa. Some people say this movie is a crime, but no, I don't think so. And it's a TV movie. It's rated R, and it's a TV movie. And really, it's... Fantastic, I like it. And it's got, I think, one popular actor. You might have heard of him. William Forsyth. Or however you say it. He played in um, Raising Arizona. Yeah, but if you can find that, pick it up. I love that movie. Oh, this is a tearjerker. Um, United 93. This is so much better than that World Trade Center. I like this one a lot better. One disc. I think you can. There isn't a two disc I don't believe. Yeah, but a tearjerker if. Or not. I, I don't know. Depends. Yeah, but that's a classic in my book. The two Jakes, you know, sequel to Chinatown. It was alright. Not much to say about that, just 
bare bones disc, you know, no whole nine yards with that. Now this is an excellent film. Um, it's a special edition too, so that's definitely good. I always like them special editions. It's PG. Probably one of my favorite Jim Carrey films. It's about. It's kind of like Ed TV. Matthew McConaughey. The War of the Roses. This is a Danny DeVito classic. In many ways. I mean, I love this film. There's a lot of good action. A lot of good action in this thing. It's like a slim disc. It's not a bootleg, though. It's real. It's just it came in one of those Michael Douglas collection things. And they would, this is how they were. That's fine, though. Just as long as it works and all that. And the case is in good condition. This I have not opened yet. This is another Michael Douglas film. Wall Street with Charlie Sheen, Michael Douglas, Martin Sheen, Terrence Stamp, um, Daryl Hannah, Hal Holbrook, um, Richard Dysart, Josh Mostel, John C. McGinley, a lot of good actors. Make sure you pick up this version, don't pick up the other version. Yeah, but it's definitely one to check out. With all that, if you're into those drama things. This one's hilarious. Now, this is kind of weird, because this is how it came. I, I picked it up used. There's a disc here, but there's no disc here. It's not a two-disc. It is not a two-disc. I don't get it, though. I don't know if it came with, like, a bonus disc or something, but... Yeah, but this movie's hilarious. The Lady Killers... Definitely one to check out. It's a little different for Tom Hanks. Mind you. This I saw in theaters and eh? mm -hmm. I didn't like it too much. My favorite Will Smith movie is probably Hitch. I know that's probably you're probably thinking, eh, but it's a chick flick, but And another thing that ticks me off, full widescreen my freaking butthole, full screen, full screen disc. Oh well, I can't get mad over something like that. Yeah, but there's a two disc edition now, I suggest you pick that one up instead. But... I saw it in theaters, and I was just really bored by it. I thought it'd be a lot better than it was. But, a lot of people liked it, so I'm just going to go with them on it and just say, go check it out. Other Will Smith things to check out, too, are also I Am Legend, Pursuit of Happiness, Independence Day, you know. I think we all know. But, I think that'll be all for tonight. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll do another one, but thanks for watching, guys.